Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so this is going to be another, um, like hangout, get ready with me, just kind of like doing something random. Um, I can't sleep and I had this interesting idea of doing like a fairy inspired look. Um, you'll kind of see more of what I mean by that when I get into like the colors that I'm using very like purple and pink. Um, I just have a couple ideas. I just want to see how this turns out and I thought it would just be fun to do. Um, that's why I'm saying this is a hangout one because it's probably going to take me a little while. And like I said, it's, it's a random idea. It's like, you know, it's late at night. I'm bored. <laughs> That's really what this is. This is boredom. Um, so yeah, like I said, very like purple and pink. Um, nothing, no purpose. Just putting on makeup in a weird way because I'm bored. Long story short. Um, so let's start with a primer. I'm going to use the Essence All About Blur. Um, shake it up a little bit. Do a little bit more on my forehead. I don't care really about using too much of this because I don't love this primer. Um, it's really just like one that I bought on a whim. So I'm just using it because as I've stated before, I save my e.l.f. primer for uh, makeup with a purpose, whether it be, um, you know, work or all day wear, whereas this is just something I'm putting on for fun. Um, so I'm using this primer. I don't hate it. I, I wouldn't say it like does very much. I don't think it's really worth it. I'm definitely not repurchasing it. Um, it smells like soap, which is funny. Um, but yeah, as far as like stuff that I would like recommend to you guys, like I try to, I, I like my e.l.f. putty primer a lot. Um, not, not really recommending this. It's, it's whatever. I'm just using it because I have it. Sorry, I do that to like smell. Like I said, this smells like soap. It's weird. All right. So our primer is on. Yeah, it's very much, it's like a mattifying lotion. Like it's not very, I guess it blurs a little bit. It gets rid of shininess, but like, you know, nothing special. So primer's on. First thing I'm going to do is line my waterline, um, only cause I always forget to do that before I like start working on my eyes and then I have to like touch, um, the concealer and like ruin it. So we're going to take our, uh, NYX jumbo pencil and milk and we're going to line our waterline with white. Oh, I gotta turn my mirror. I'm like doing stuff without a mirror. Like, hello. <laughs> I'm going to be very messy with it, um, but I'm doing that purposely, honestly. Okay. 
Ooh. Let's get more on this side. Okay. And like I said, I'm messy with it on purpose because I do want some of it to be left behind. All right. Whew. I can like see it in like my peripheral, the white. It's like, oh. All right. So let's put that there for a second. So before I do my under eye concealer, um, I'm going to take, cause I'm going to be doing like a lot of color around my eyes. So I'm going to take, after I shake it up a little bit, the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. Um, it is a mouthful, but that is what it says. Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. Um, and this is shade one, the latest shade. I think there's three. But um, I like this as an eyeshadow primer. I think it works great. It's just very pigmented and a little goes a long way with this. So don't use too much. Otherwise, you're going to be like drowning in it. All right, and I'm just going to do a little there, and then I'm going to do the other eye. Oops, I used too much. Shit. All right, and I'm going to do it like that. Um, instead of blending it out with my finger, which would probably take too long, I still have plenty left on my finger. That's crazy. Like I said, this a little goes a long way with this. Think of this like a very thin concealer formula. Like there's just like a ton of it. Even though the pigmentation of this is crazy, I don't recommend using this instead of concealer. Like for your under eye, I don't recommend it. Um, only because it is such a thin formula. Like I said, very pigmented, but very thin. I think I used more on the other side. It's kind of hard to tell. Also, it like settles in your fine lines, as you can see. Hence what I mean by like, don't use it as concealer. It is a very thin eyeshadow primer. Um, very liquidy, very pigmented, but definitely not concealer consistency. So don't recommend it for that. Okay. It's a little chaotic looking, but give it time. <laughs> So I'm not going to do under eye concealer yet. Um, I would like to start working on my eyes just because I'm going to have a lot going on, um, on my eyes and I may need to kind of fix some things up as I go. I'm actually going to hold off on that for a second. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the, uh, the palette I'm going to be using today is the Garden of Juvia's, which is that like really beautiful pastel palette by Juvia's Place. Um, I'm going to be taking this purple, which is called Lilac U, this purple, this sparkly purple, which is called Blooming. And then for my inner corner, I want to use uh, Daffodil, which is this really awesome like yellow glitter. Um... So yeah, I'm going to be using those three. I'm going to start by doing um, some daffodil, which is this yellow, like I said. I'm going to take daffodil and just like really coat my inner corner right here. 
Um, I'm going to use my finger because it is a pressed glitter eyeshadow. Um, I'll use a brush for these purples, but just to get the pigmentation um, on my inner corner, I'm going to take my finger and hope that it comes out the way I think it will. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Very cool. See that? That's beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. And I'm going to pretty much do the whole inner corner, like even like to my nose, I think. Um, There's not going to be a lot of structure to this makeup look. I want it to be very, like, ethereal, very, like, you know, like, does a fairy have makeup brushes or do they just look like that, you know? <laughs> that made no sense. Don't take what I said into any kind of context. Look at how pretty that is. This daffodil color is beautiful. When it comes to Juvia's Place, everybody freaks out over the culture palettes, which don't get me wrong, I own the first culture palette. I think it's stunning. But this Garden of Juvia's palette is like unbelievably pretty. Very different. Very fun. Okay. So I pretty much coated that inner corner. I may have to go back in after I do the purple just to see. Or not just to see. Just to like fix it. Only because I have a feeling I might accidentally overlap the purple with it. But that's why I painted so much of the yellow on just to make sure. rescue my finger here. Okay, set that down for a sec. All right, so now I'm taking a just random eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in with the Lilac U, which is this one right here. That's so pretty. What a pretty purple. And I'm going to bring it out a little bit only because for eyeliner, we're going to do some non-traditional graphic liner. Um, I'm going to try to make like a butterfly wing with the eyeliner. Um, so definitely bring the purple out a little bit. <laughs> There's a random cat hair in the eyeshadow brush. Like, hello. Like I said, it doesn't really matter like how crazy the purple is only because I am going to be 
doing some fun stuff with the eyeliner. I'm just trying to lay the purple down to where I think it should go. I may have to like fix it later. Like that. Make sure it matches on both sides. Okay, kind of like that. And it didn't overlap the yellow too much, which is good. Oh, sorry, that's shaking the camera. Sorry. As I continue to do it. Oops. Okay. I'm going to hold off on using blooming for a second because I'm going to start working on the eyeliner. Um, let me get a drink of water first. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take my Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. Um, I'm going for a very dramatic wing shape because, um, like I said, I'm going to turn it into a butterfly wing with a different eyeliner in a second. Um, I'm just trying to figure out make like a rounded shape like that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. I'll do like a very, th I think I'll do like a thin wing. We'll see how it like actually comes out. Cause I'll say thin and then I'll overdraw it like a fool. So like, let's see. <laughs> like that. And I'm going to like go slowly and do both sides simultaneously, I think. Just to really avoid messing it up too much. Even though I already have a little bit. They are even though, so I can't bitch too much. If you hear noise from outside, I apologize. There is, I live down the street from a uh, community center and sometimes they'll hold weddings or like parties and stuff. Um, so you may hear some of that. 
because I can hear it, so I can only assume that you can hear it. Not perfect. Quite messy on this side, unfortunately, but I am right-handed, and that is the left side of my face, so we get what we get sometimes. Let me see what I can do to fix that in a second. There we go. That's okay. So I didn't bring it all the way in. You can kind of see where I stopped on both sides. That's okay for the moment. So we'll set this aside. Deep breaths. <laughs> um, now, what am I going to do now? Where do I want to add the sparkle? I think what I'll do only because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this successfully. <laughs> um, we're going to take the uh, ColourPop BFF Liquid Liner in Graceland, which is the white shade. And we're going to attempt to do like a fairy wing situation. Um, like I said, not sure how it's going to come out. I have shaky hands, so I can only do my best. <laughs> So let's do that. One, two, three, go. <laughs> I'm going to clean it as I go. Because the pigmentation of this white kind of sucks. Interesting. Okay. That's not bad. Hopefully I can do the same thing on the other side. Whoops. Let's see. My piercings aren't exactly even on both sides, so one wing might be a little lower than the other. And that's okay. Oh yeah, one's significantly worse than the other, lol. How to fix. Oh. 
Wow, this liner pen sucks. Okay. Hmm. Gonna clean it up a little so we get the purple off of it. I think what we should do, just because this liner pen is not fabulous quality, like I was hoping, the black one of this uh, product is great, but the white is definitely more for detail work, but at least now I know. But have no fear, because I have the KVD Longwear pomade. Um, it is technically a brow pomade, but it can also be used as a liner in the shade Whiteout. This stuff is awesome. Um, but I haven't worked with it like a ton. So, you know, it's like a mousse consistency. Oh yeah, much better. Oh yeah, you could see that a lot better. Okay. Yeah, you can see that a little better than the liner little better is a lot better than what I was looking at before so this is not going to be perfect you guys I'm not very good at this So I definitely have to take my time with this, so uh, if you want to fast forward through this part, totally understand. Much better. Yeah, you can see that a lot better. Holy shit. <laughs> um, okay. Now the other side. I'm like, please, God, fix this. And I can also use a makeup wipe to fix the shape as well. So we can be a little messy. If you are still watching, um, comment down below. What's a song that's been stuck in your head lately? For me, it has been uh, Sinead O'Connor's Nothing Compares to You. Um, don't ask me why. That song's just been in my head. Nothing compares to you. I should edit that out. That was embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Much better. Way better. Cool. Okay.
Do I fill it in white? I feel like that may be chaotic. We'll figure it out in a second. I'm also going to take some of this and we're going to do right here. Like that. consistency is a little different than what I'm used to but as I said this is technically a brow pomade so the um, the mousse consistency is to be expected but this is a lot easier to work with than um, some other liquid liners I've used or potted liners rather Like that just to emphasize the white under the eyes from the milk pencil that has uh, faded a little bit Okay, let's set this down for a second. Oh my God, hello. There we go. Okay, so we're going to set that down for a second because I feel like I've been tweaking for too long. Let's see. So now I'm going to take this brush because it's a little flat and I'm going to take the lilac you and I'm going to fill in without ruining the white. I'm just going to fill in the butterfly wing or fairy wing rather. It's not really a butterfly wing. That's more round. I'm just going to fill in the fairy wing with the purple. without getting it into the white, like I said. Or try not to, rather. Like that. Just like that. And now that we did that, I think I'm going to take the blooming shade, which is the sparkly purple, and I'm just going to do kind of all over. Hopefully. But specifically just the wing part. So from like here down, not over here.
That looks cool. See that? Nice. Nice. Cool. Still have that song stuck in my head. It's literally like looping in my head. All right. What next? What next? Let's see. I don't even know if I'm gonna, well, yeah, I should probably do some concealer. Fuck it. Um, so I have my shape tape in fair beige. I'll just do like a smidge underneath the eye and then the brow bone because I just got my brows done and they look awesome. So like that, we'll start there. Okay, like that. Let's do our nose a little bit. Well, not a little bit. We got to do our nose. Boop. Just like that. Okay. I'm probably, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm going to go back in with the daffodil, which is that yellow. And we're going to make this a little bit more, um, just go back over it just to fix anything we may have lost with the other colors. Like that. Cool. feel like I could do more. I'm just not sure what yet. Okay. 
And that's okay. I don't have to know right away. Let's, this is a situation where it's kind of like fuck around and find out. I have this, um, I have the mixed signals from Morphe, the, uh, white one, the into it over it. I'm going to take the white eyeshadow crayon and just kind of thicken up the white that we did before. Cause I just realized this is white and I'm wondering I'm just going around the outside. Ooh, cool. Okay. Like that. And we'll just clean that off. Not perfect. Kind of messed up on this side. Not mad at it though. I mean, it's fine. Like I said, we found out. That's fine. Hmm. All right. Now we're going to take the, um, what are we going to do? Cause I feel like I've messed this up a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I've made this worse somehow. I feel more like a pro wrestler than a fairy. That's right. Um, give me one second. Okay. So mistakes were made <laughs> instead of fussing with it. I'm just going to move on to my face and we'll just figure it out. But uh, I'm using the Fenty, uh, tint stick. Just gonna paint my face here, doing more than I should, and that's okay. Oh, such an easy product. I've said before, this is absolutely a repurchase. I just, um, need to make sure I get the correct color next time. I think I'm literally just like one shade up from this. Cause this is my summer color and my current, um, my current found or no, the NARS foundation is my winter color. So it's like extra pale and this is a little too dark. So like definitely somewhere in the middle. Definitely somewhere in the middle. Okay. Ooh. 
Where are we at? I'm like, I got so frustrated, I lost track. I'm like, where are we at? What are we doing? Let's do... Uh, taking the Elf Camo Foundation in, which color is this? Fair 100W. And um, I should probably use a smaller brush for this, huh? Hold on. A Real Technique setting brush, because it's a little smaller than the one I was just holding. Okay, good. We'll just do this for the moment. Um, yes. Now, what was I doing with this one? I wasn't doing anything with that one. So I had an idea because I took this purple eyeliner and I kind of added to the wing, but I screwed up on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Sweet Lilac, which is this darker purple down here. And I'm going to take that flat brush that I used to fill in the wing and we're just going to add a deeper purple to the uh, butterfly wing. to like marry the darker purple or at least try to because like I don't know it needs Jesus this butterfly wings or these fairy wings they need Jesus Just add a little deeper purple to it. I think that looks not bad, actually. Oh, that actually, that dimension that it's adding is working out a lot better than I originally thought. You can still see where I messed up, but at least the darker purple adds something to it. I think that's much better. <sighs> Trying to fix my mistakes. It's not easy. Because I'm a fool. Sorry. I keep shaking it. It's because I'm trying to like brush off the excess. to do now now actually I'll do the glitter later 
So let's take our um, blush and do a little work there. Um, I have Krista by Benefit, which is this like amazing pink color. Um, so I'm going to take this big fluffy brush and just do some Krista like here. And then we'll contour my nose with it. I think that would look cool. It might look terrible, but like it's such a pretty color. I like don't care that much. <laughs> I don't care if this comes out bad. This is really pretty color. And just focus it like right there towards the edge of our cheeks like that. Ooh. A little bit of pink is going to get in the bottom of the fairy wing, but honestly, that's okay. Like that. Ooh, what a pretty pop of color. Let's make it crazier, shall we? Do I even want to contour my nose? Not really. But we're going to. I got this flat brush. And uh, yeah, we'll see. No, that looks cute. I'm just a hater. It's fine. I know. Like that. Because I'm going to fix that up in a second. But you want to start with it pretty pink. Now I'm taking this uh, angled contour brush from e.l.f. and we're going to dip into the um, camo powder again. We're just going to put a little bit right here. Just like that. And then a smidge on the tip of my nose. Like that. A 
a little crooked, but honestly, fine. <laughs> I've done worse to myself, that's for sure. Cool. What else? I mean, I still have a lot. Okay, now what I want to do actually is take the um, mix signals, I keep forgetting, it's got the cream eyeshadow and then it's got the eyeshadow stick. Um, I'm going to do the eyeshadow stick for a second just to do some white underneath my eyebrow. That didn't work out quite right, but you know what? That's okay. Okay, good. Now the other eyebrow. I never get to highlight under my brows, that's why I wanted to do it, and I'm doing a shitty job. <laughs> Well, this whole thing's kind of been not the way I wanted it to be, but sometimes that's just how makeup works out. And instead of being upset, you just roll with it. So says me. really not that bad it's actually very cute all right so now for under the eyes I'm taking the mixed signals the cream eyeshadow side the iridescent I'm just gonna add some iridescence like right here a lot just a pop a little pop of something like that you can more see it when I turn my head, but it's still cool. Okay. I was going to do lashes, but I'm really not feeling it. To be honest, um, I think what I'll do well, first, getting ahead of myself here, let's take the Moon Cruiser highlighter from Kaleidoscope Beauty. It's a cool, like, purple blue, and we'll just like add that to a bunch of different spots just to really oomph this up. So, I'm gonna take it on my finger. And we're going to put it all over the wing part. Ooh, yeah, cool. I don't necessarily know if finger was the way to go, but it packs on more than a brush would. See? 
See? Ooh. Lots of glitter. Glitter fixes everything, so they say. And then we'll do some underneath our brow bone too, I think. Why not? And on the tip of our nose, because, I mean, shit, why not? We're already here. Cool. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to do something crazy because I can. I use this Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. It's a white lash primer. Um, in the past, I've used this um, to help with my brother's cosplay because his uh, character had white hair and white eyebrows. So... Uh, because I've used this on my brother's eyebrows, this is for cosplay stuff. Um, so I'm going to make my eyebrows white. Because I do what I want. My brother's eyebrows are darker than mine. And I was able to make it look good on him. So maybe this will be forgiving to me. We shall see. Like that. Oh, yeah. So crazy. <laughs> I'm sure Benefit has a... Oh, they have blonde shades of their brow products, not white. This is just something for crazy people like me. I can't even, like, say, like, guys, this will make sense. Trust the process. It doesn't. You don't have to trust shit with me. I'm just doing my thing. This is the part where I say makeup is therapeutic, even though I look like a psychopath. All right. Eyebrows are white. Now, instead of putting on lashes, this is where it gets crazy. I have the Essence Lash Princess uh, Mascara Primer. So this, instead of being white, is like a off-white. It's like green. I want to see what this does. And if it does nothing, then we'll just use blue over it. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Come on. At least you know it works, because, I mean, shit, it makes my lashes longer.
How interesting. I love this. Cool. Let me try to do my lower lashes here. Not so much. Okay. There's that. How interesting. I look psychotic. But, like, it's fun. Highly recommend. Do something psychotic. Now, for lipstick, honestly, I have, um, I have this really cool MAC color called Everybody's Heroine, and it's this gorgeous purple, and I think it would go with this, because, I mean, at this point, this is just, like, a chaotic mess, so let's do some purple lips. Why not? Ooh. Oops. Ah, oh, shit. That looks cool. Okay. We're going to put the Fenty Gloss Bomb Crystal and Hologram over this just so it kind of marries with everything else. Which again is a weird thing to say because none of this is married together so far. So, party. That's beautiful. That's awesome. Let me just clean off the, there we go. Fabulous. Okay. You know me, I gotta check to make sure there's no lipstick on my teeth. Cause with my luck, it just, I guess I'll get a wig on and like figure it out <laughs> one second. So I can earnestly say, despite my best attempt, 
Um, this doesn't look as good as I really wanted it to, but am I glad I tried it? Yes. Um, do I hate it? No. Um, definitely don't hate it. It's just not what I wanted. Um, but now I know what to do differently if I were to try this again. There we go with the lipstick on her teeth. I knew it was coming. Anyway. Um, yeah, now I know um, what to do differently. Um, what to try differently. But like I said, do I hate it? No. No, I don't. I like the colors. I like the ideas that I had. Um, lots of glitter because glitter fixes everything. Um, do I wish that I had white false eyelashes? Yes. Um, but that's okay. We tried something new and, um, I don't know. I go to a Renaissance fair like this, like dressed up properly. So it's not a complete loss. Um, yeah. So like I said, this was just like a hangout type thing. Sorry if it was awkward or quiet. Um, I kind of was just going with the flow. Um, but yeah, if you have, uh, made it this far, like I said, um, before I said, comment down below a song that's been stuck in your head. I'm going to say the same thing here at the end. Cause, uh, still got that song in my head. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time.